How's it going fellow gamers? Cast Clips here. We are back on Citadel Forge with Fire and I found um, an amethyst node here uh, or geode if you will. Um, so this is literally carved into the side of the mountain. There's actually a few of these around the map. I think there's like a total of like four or five, maybe a little bit more, but I don't think there's actually too many of them. Um, this one, when you come to it, there's no one inside here or anything. Some of the other ones you have to be careful with because there'll be enemies actually standing inside of these. But all of these right here, these uh, purple crystals that are sticking up out of it, um, that was that's actually how you'll get the, um, the amethyst. You can't, like, hit this and get any. It's just from the ones that are actually sticking up. I don't even think these ones will give you anything. Um, yeah, they won't even let us... Uh, do those we already do have our five here but as you guys can see um, this is what I'm talking about you would just to gather on one of these stones and every now and then you will get an amethyst crystal so I've actually I was doing this for a while and I ended up ending the video just to make sure that my timer starts over for um, for the sake of recording on my PlayStation to make sure that I'm not cutting into previous videos or anything like that but um, yeah, this is where one of them is, and you guys can see the coordinates right there at the top. So it's N.48 and E4.64, and if we take a look at the map, we are actually down on the bottom right, um, which is kind of hard to see with the uh, writing down there, but we are right here where this yellow dot is. Well, yellow arrow. Um, so we were up over here where our house is. This is where we actually have to go to turn in the quest, which if I'm not mistaken, there's actually one over in this area. But I was actually headed home to um, take care of the infestation that I had. Um, on the way home, we stopped. We killed a, a mutant guardian right here. He was only level one. He was also kind of stuck, so it was actually really easy to kill him. We got two levels out of that. Came back here, nothing was attacking me, the uh, the sprites were still there, but we did build walls around our place. Got those walls up, and because we actually got the two levels and a whole bunch of materials from the uh, from the Guardian, I was able to do armor and weapons, new armor and weapons. Um, and then from there, I decided to come down here, and the one that I remembered was over here to the right. I could not remember exactly where the one over here to the left is. Like I said, I think it's in this area right here somewhere, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and I think it's actually more dangerous over here because there's a lot of dragons and stuff that are down over in that area And I can't remember if there are actually any um, Creatures inside that node over there, and I know with this one there is not 100% so There's not creatures in here 100% I think I said that right So with that being said um, Like I said, uh, we've actually been at this for a while let's see we actually have 21 here um, we're gonna grab a few more and then I also did get some storm essence which I will show you guys where I got these three from we got storm essence we got dark essence and we got uh, essence of summoning of course we also got a little bit of uh, light ones and um, nature ones um, but if you guys watch the previous videos that I've done before you guys will know exactly where I got those from it's actually from the cave of the lagoon or the lagoon cave or cave lagoon whatever you want to call it um, it's gonna be on the way going back I will show you guys that though um, let's go ahead and grab these last two right here just because one of these I was doing and one one I wasn't so I don't know which is which and there actually may be three here yeah um, so what I mean by three is like there was three different nodes there and I hate like taking from one and then just stopping like midway through it and just not getting it. There has been times where I have to do it, you know, just because like I'll run out of like space or something in my inventory, things like that, whatever. Um, but uh, we still have not made any flying essence just because uh, I just got the storm essences and we need some of those to make it. But as you can see, we do have our character here who has really good armor right now. All of the orange ones, these are legendary, or sorry, not legendary, these are epic items. Um, they actually come with uh, quite a bit of different um, uh, additions, I guess, if that's what you want to call them, on them. Um, we have uh, two orange weapons as well. So, as you can see here, I think two of these items have uh, magic find on them. 
So we have magic find percentage right there, 16, and then the one on the helm is 21. We had the feet that we were wearing before, the cloth feet actually had six on them. Um, and I did go back and take a look and see exactly what, um, like if it was boosted for my magic find, it is boosted. It's uh, boosted by times 4.96 the magic find it's not something i said it's something that was already set in the game um so if you guys are uh, expecting to get really good items like this it's going to be based on your magic find which i went over that in previous videos before too if you guys have more questions about it, i can definitely answer those but i'm not going to cover too much about it just because it is something that we already covered but we're going to go ahead and head back over there turn in this quest and I will show you guys on the way there uh, where where the uh, the storm essence and all that I've gotten where I got that from um, but like I said it's also another thing that I've already covered but I mean we'll, since we're going by there anyway I'll just touch on it again I'm not going to be like too detailed on it or anything but they may not even be spawned back in yet just because I literally just came from there but we can at least take a look and I can at least point it out. So our main goal right now is just getting back to the mainland over there. So we'll actually go to this island over here. And if I'm not mistaken, this island would not be a bad one to um, build on either. There's not much here though, that would be the only downside is um, you would be lacking uh, like wood and stuff like that. And of course I don't think I can make it up right here. Can I? Oh sweet. There we go. Yeah, I don't think there's much wood on this island. I mean there's a few trees here and there, but it's missing a lot of wood and then it's also just awkward shaped. But I mean even like this small area right here wouldn't be bad if you're just building something small. Staff that we're using that is the uh, the one I told you guys I can now make in the previous video the uh, um, Ram's head Gorthrax or something like that Gorthrax Ram's head something something along those lines. If any, uh, if any of you people who are watching this video, if you guys were into like Ark Survival Evolved, honestly, I would say check out this game. It is very dead now, um, but if you wanted to play Ark like on a public server and you got tired of getting raided all the time and everything else, try out this game. The uh, the people in here, like I said, they're not as toxic as in Ark. And um, the fact that the servers are kind of, you know, minimal as far as, um, you know, like people playing on them and stuff. You won't really run into other many players that are going to be looking to raid you and stuff. A lot of people actually like working together in this game just because it does help out. So this is the, uh, this is the cave I was talking about. If we take a look at the map here, um, you can see highlighting that right there. It is called the Lagoon Cave. Let's see if any of the stuff respawn back in. We're going to hug this right side just because there's a guardian over there and then there's going to be one up there in the middle as well. Oh, and it did respawn. Okay. And I'm sorry about my phone, like always, guys. So this is where I got the, um, the dark essence, uh, the summoning essence, and the storm essence from. And this is probably the first place you guys will come across any of these anyway. Uh, so I don't want to get too close to that uh, guardian that's up there. <clears throat> we can take him out. It's not a problem. But um, these, whoops, these white ones here, those are light essences. The blue ones behind it, those are the storm essences. The red one that was there, that is a dark essence. And like I said, I went over all of this stuff before. But this is the uh, the easiest place to get these ones. Um, right off the bat 
and then on the other side, um, obviously the green ones is the nature essence. It's gotta be up top. I heard something. Um, on the other side, uh, there is the, uh, the purple one, which is the essence of summoning. Which I think I covered everything with that one, but, um, uh, I wasn't too impressed with the ess essence of summoning. It is a semi-newer one. Um, what I mean by newer is the game's been out for quite some time. Um, that was probably the last update that they did. I don't know if they're still updating the game. I would have to look up and see if they actually have been doing any updates or, or anything like that. I don't think they have, but I wouldn't be able to tell just by looking at um, updates by my console, just because I reinstalled this game from scratch, and of course it's going to reinstall everything from, like, from the beginning it'll install it all at the same time. So there's actually not a summoning one here this time anyway, but this is the side where I got it. It was actually uh, lined up with this one right here, with this uh, light one, um, but it was, uh, it was purple. So... Um, just keep in mind that I guess uh, it's not always going to be the same thing every time. Because I don't even think there were this many blue ones on the side either, so maybe one of these blue ones turned into the purple one. But we're going to grab everything while we're here, just because we can always use these storm ones. And then it doesn't hurt to have extras of any of the other ones anyway. These last two. But this is the cave that I was talking about um, where you can grab um, precious stone as well, other than over by where our base is. Sorry about that, player guys. I was trying to turn away from it. Why is it so bright? Stop it. Yeah, see, back here, um, all of these stones right here, this is. Uh, definitely the spot where you guys can get more precious stone. You also get enhanced stone from here, or enhanced, yeah, enha enchanted stone, there we go, enchanted stone, um, which you'll need those later on as well. So the higher level that you'll get um, in the game, the more often you'll get stuff like, you know, the, the rare stuff, as well as upgrading your weapons and everything. So before you guys were seeing how long it was taking to get um, you know, the precious stone and stuff like that, and now we're getting it quite often, and we're also getting a lot more iron ore and gold ore out of this thing, where the last time it was like every third one we were getting something or something like that, so just keep that in mind as well, guys, you know, the, the higher level you are, the higher level weapons you're using, the better off you're going to be. Um, but let's go ahead and get back over to turn in this quest, and it's going to be a long trip, because it's like something like 2500. Oh, it's even over that, it's 28. Okay, so you're going to run all the way there, guys. And I still don't have. Oh, you know what? Hmm. We can actually do that now. So let's do. We are going to do. Yeah, here's the summoning uh, stuff. Um. So instead of our haste, we're actually going to put the storm one in there. There it is, blink. What do we need for blink? I don't want damage, it's probably going to be energy. What are the rest of these two? Spell energy. Or range. Let's do range. We'll do range, 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 and then we'll do two spells. And we will do blink. And then over here where haste is. And there we go. So now we can just teleport halfway. Now obviously this is still gonna take us a while to get through here, but I think it'll help out. And then we also have this uh, monolith here, so it is uh, one of precision, gives you 7 crit, and 20 movement speed. So let's go ahead and do that. That movement speed is definitely going to help us out. 
then this blink will actually help us traverse terrain a lot quicker too because if there's like something where we need to get uphill we can just kind of teleport up the mountain if it will let us. Oh and actually that's a good thing because there's a teleport thing right up here. So. Inside here, go up to the top. We need to activate this one because it's not even activated. I passed it on the way through here, but I didn't want to turn back and go up the hill. And they have quests in here. And I don't know exactly where we can teleport to from here. It's going to be closer, but get something closer. Um, oh, we can actually do it right to the place we need to go to. So perfect. We'll just teleport there, yes, and there we go. Now all we do is go downstairs and turn in the quest. So look at that guys, a lot easier. And we'll just drop off here. Turn in this quest for uh -huh. our amethyst. Uh -huh. Pick up the next one, five gold ingots. Which we have gold now, we just need the ingots. So that's not going to be too hard either, we're just going to use a teleporter again. We're going to teleport to our home, which we can't teleport directly to the home, but we can get as close as we can to there. So our home is right here. So we're going to go to the tutorial area. And then we are going to go to our home. But as you can see, our home is now only six. Is that a six or a five? I think that's a six. It's only uh, 600 meters away though, 650. So we can definitely uh, get there a lot quicker. And then keep in mind guys if you guys wanted to have the haste and this the blink on at the same time you could definitely do that too I just don't like having too many traveling ones on at the same time because then you get carried um, carried away with like just moving so fast and everything and you end up spending all of your mana on just moving and then by the time you run out of mana you have the issue where wherever you stop there's probably like a strong level bear or something there that you have no mana to fight against it and you just end up getting yourself wrecked so just be careful with that there's our house on the other side over there which Hello, remember me? But now, you are weak and I am strong. Okay. Um, the highest one that I killed over here was a 28. I don't know where, I think there was a 29 here before. I don't know where the 29 went. But um, the highest one I killed was a 28, so. But I know that we can at least take a 28. So this is the house now. So I don't have a roof, but I just built walls around it and some stairs. And then, of course, a door. And then the other thing that I did in here is I built this. Uh, the Interact, or not Interact, the Conjuring Cauldron. Um, so all we need is gold ingots. Oh, we have levels. Okay, whatever. Um, we're actually going to drop all of this, which I don't think it's going to let me put. Oh, okay, I did. Um, and then we'll put all this in here. Um, look back in here. And what was it? We needed five? Yeah. So we'll come in here. We're going to go down. Right there we have 25 of them. Let's grab five. And then, um, so these are the uh, pants that I had on before, or the, uh, the feet, I guess, that I had on before. That's what I was talking about where it said that they had magic find. Um, that was uh, six, and I apologize if you guys can hear weird people screaming outside. That's my neighbors being odd today. Um, and then these are the two other weapons that I made because you can hold four weapons at a time. 
but I didn't have any of the other um, uh, things in here, like the, um, the the essences. So I just went ahead and um, just kind of left them in there. Um, but now we can see if we can make uh, the essence of wings and we can fly. So I don't think we have any fairy dust. 14 fairy dust. If we do, we have a bunch of fairy dust. So let's take all of it. Take all of this. And this. And we can make the essence of wings. Craft one. And that's gonna take a minute. Um what else? What else? I have also been trying to make Sorry, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I've also been trying to make um, this, the Deconstructor. We don't have 40 Enchanted Stone yet, I don't think. Um, but what it does, I think I went over that before too. Nah, we're not even close, we only have five. Um, uh, what it does is like all these weapons and stuff that I'm holding on to, it'll just break them down, but you can actually get some pretty rare items even out of these. So like something like this you'll get quite a bit of good items out of it so we're just waiting on that and since that's already crafting I can actually throw this stuff back in here we'll do move all, move all, move all. I would have done deposit all but we still need these and what I have I think it always does that like it always gives you one extra one and in fact I should put that back in this one over here. So I think when you need one, you have to pick like four because it's already counting the one, and then you do four other ones. I don't know. It's weird. And then I'll be honest with you guys. I don't remember how to fly. I think you just hold down the jump button, and it automatically activates it. We'll find out here in a second, though. There it is. So we will take this, and we actually need to equip it. There we go, and does it say in there what you have to do? No, it does not. Oh, okay. So I see it down there at the bottom. Um, so it's actually whatever slot you put it in. Um, if you look down at the bottom there, there's actually a slot for it. So how this is my L2, this is my R2, it's actually circle buttons down there. So we need to go back over there. The easiest way to do that, um, or the quickest way, would be to just go back to here, back to our um, spawn again, and then just take the uh, the fast travel again. So that's what we're going to do. So that is the spawn over there. So we're going to get out of here. And keep in mind, I think we went over this before. Um, I think we went over this before, guys, but keep in mind, your mana is draining while you're flying. So... The entire time you're flying, this is the same issue that I was talking about with um, with moving fast, using your your teleport and all your other things. Keep keep that in mind because if you need to land and you land in a bad spot, it's going to be very bad for you. So. And um, I will say that the I think it's the middle one. Um, because you can learn three different potions to be able to fly like I was just doing, or you can learn three different brooms. Um, I think the brooms still take mana, it just takes a lot less, but it's also a little bit slower. But the middle one for both of those, so the middle broom and the middle potion to fly, those are the cheapest one, or not the cheapest, those are the most, um, what would it be, uh, the word for it those are basically the ones that you would want to get because for what it does like the speed that you're getting takes a specific amount of mana so basically this one here you fly really slow takes a lot of mana the um, the top one takes a ridiculous amount of mana but it's also very fast and then the one in the middle is basically the most balanced it's the one that doesn't waste too much mana but you still get decent speed out of it so it is the one that is um, best to use 
the, the one that you'll get your most bang for your buck out of if that's how you want to word it and I'm in the floor. That was weird. Okay, and then we'll just drop here. Fly real quick and then let it go. Huh? Where is that? Oops. Mm-hmm. Speak with get box. So now we go back to the cave guy, uh, which is right over here. And that is still close to our home, which is still close to the um, tutorial area, the spawn area. So we're going to go straight back to the spawn, guys. So, to the spawn, which is this one. Go back to the spawn, and then 700 meters in this direction. And our mana is still very low, so we are going to actually step into the mana pool that's here. That's the health one, there's mana. So let's get our mana pool going. I'm going to splash your goodness all over me. Yeah, that's it. Just like that. Okay. And we will come out here and get going. Top of this, like we talked about, you can still blink, but that is going to waste your mana a lot quicker as well. So be very careful with that. Flying at a downward angle, I'm sure you guys have already noticed, and I've talked about it in previous videos, it does give you a bit of more boost as far as. So one of the things you can do is fly downward at an angle with your forward, and then when you're ready to teleport, kind of teleport up and then go back to a downward angle. So just uh Something to keep in mind, you don't have to do that, but it definitely helps out. Uh, we got about 200 meters, so we'll go ahead and lay off the flying. Um, nope, we're going to fly because that is a camp. Right up over the camp. And the cave's actually right up here. So we are already here. This is the same cave that we've been coming to in the previous videos with the green that looks all hazy and stuff in there until you go through it. In case you forgot where it's at, it is right here. So once again, right next to the lake, next to the spawn, that's where this yellow marker is right here. Now if you don't have this yellow marker, that means you're not on this part of the quest to turn in an item or anything like that. That is not the that's not the the marker for the cave. That is the marker for the mission. So just keep that in mind guys. Come in here, mm -hmm. with him. Turn that in. Now we need to tame a boar. So, instead of blinking... Hmm. There's a boar right there. Let's go kill these fairies. See if we can get some light essence from them, because I didn't bring any light essence with me. And you need light essence to tame a creature. So let's go kill these fairies over here. If we can get a light essence from them, then we won't have to go back home. But if we don't get one, then we're either going to have to try killing other stuff or figuring out how to get some. Okay, that one's dead. Oh, look at that. It's kind of light essence. Perfect. We get two light essence. And what do we got here? I hope there's a weapon. There is a weapon. And a weapon. Ooh. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So, um, ring. Equip. What's that? Creepy guy. So this is the weapon here. Um, I don't like these weapons. These are like gloves that you use with your hands. They look a lot cooler, I'm not gonna lie. They look actually pretty cool when you do some of the spells and everything. I don't know if we can, we're going to equip that, I don't know if we can, um, so these are the gloves here, um, I don't know if we can put what we need on this, but we're definitely going to give it a shot, so we're going to put add spell, and let's see what we have on these, grace, condemn, atonement, pacify, so we can do it, pacify is what we're looking for, um, we'll do it on the right side, Where'd that board go? Is that from right there? Something. Hmm. 
There he is. No, nope, that's a horse. Where did the boy go? I think it was down there more. Yeah, it was down here. Because we ran up this way, so we didn't... Bears and boys fight. Should not be doing this because we need a man. We'll have to stop that. The wolf. The wolf would kill the boy. Bear. Funny, the other episode we had trouble finding a bear, now there seem to be all over. Oh look, there's a boar. Alright, so the pacify one is a constant cast that you have to do on them. Um, doesn't matter which weapon you're using, but basically you just do this. And you can see around his picture there, he has a like a blue circle filling up around it. You literally have to keep doing this until that blue circle fills all the way up. So if you're low on health and it is a high level creature, you need to be very careful so you can get him into some kind of like a, uh, a trap that you can build or something along those lines. As you can see with my health, I'm not taking much damage at all. I can literally just stand and do this, so it's not going to be an issue. The only thing I'm worried about is if my mana runs out before this is done. But it looks like we actually got it. So there we go. We tamed a creature. So now we can enter his name here, and we're going to name him Hank. Why Hank? I have no idea, but I, that's the first thing that popped in my mind. Boom. So now we can hit square on him, so he can actually hold some stuff in his inventory here if you want to. Um, which you can actually feed them as well. You do have to feed them. Uh, what is this bottom one? That is to dismiss the pet. You can equip him with a saddle, which I don't think you can equip them with saddles. I think you can only do that with horses. Um, this is to uh, pick what, how you want him to be. We're going to leave him on... Uh, let's see here. So we don't want him on stay. We want him on... We'll leave him on, on defensive. But, we also want him, there we go, follow defensive. Okay, so follow and defensive, that's what we have him on. So now he should follow us. Okay, and he's on defensive, so he won't attack anything unless something attacks us first. And if for some reason you do decide to leave your buddy behind and you fly away, he will find you. Um, be careful with this though. Um, if you do have a pet and um, he's following you or whatever, he will still attract, like he can still aggro this bear up ahead, so like even if I'm not on the ground and he's running by this bear, I will show you guys if he can still attract, um, not while the bear's on the ground. Okay, well, it's not gonna, anyway, so he can still attract aggro or whatever, um, even if, uh, even if it's not something that, um... Oh, the bear ran that way. Even if it's not something that you guys are worried about, um, keep that in mind just because, like, if you guys have storage on him or anything like that, you can definitely lose whatever he has. Is that a baby bear? What is that? That's a bear, right? It just looks a lot smaller. What's that bear? Level four, air level five. Why does it look so much smaller? I mean, I don't care. That's just interesting. I've never seen it like that. I always thought they were insane. Um, anyway, so uh, with the tames, um, you do have to feed them and everything. Um, there's specific items that they do eat over others, which it'll say like, "Hey, this is for like taming a pet," 
and it'll say how long you have the pet tamed for. So if you come in here, you look at the very last one that's in here, which is this one here, your tame stuff. So you can see, where's it at? Where's it at? Right there, tame time. Um, you can max it out at 336 total. Um, on the left side is what he currently is, I believe. So he is at, uh, what is that, 1 hour 56 minutes, it looks like. It doesn't actually show the second countdown, but you can see it changes by 5. So yeah, it looks like we'll have him for 1 hour 56 minutes. If I decided to speak with him and we put something in his storage here. So let's see. Um, I don't think I have anything to feed him. This maybe? Ah, here we go. Placed in creatures storage to increase loyalty time by 60 minutes. So if I put milk in his inventory, boom, he already ate it. It is already gone. It is in his inventory. Now we look at this. We look at this. You can see we got a whole nother hour on there, which I should not have done that with him. I mean, I don't care. It's just milk. But um, as you can see, like, I mean, you do have to keep them fed. It's not fed as in they're going to starve to death. It's fed as in, hey, you want him to be loyal to you. But uh, this is the Power of Light one. Um, so that is the quest for this. We're going to go ahead and turn this one in. <sighs> then we need to tame an elk next. So, we are going to dismiss you. Dismiss pet. Confirm. Now he's wild. He's already attacking us. Bad. Bad Hank. He even had the name Hank still. I'm pretty sure if you, um... If you just let him go in the wild, he'll probably stay alive out there and he'll just keep the name Hank. But now we just need to find an elk, do the same thing, and then I think it's going to do the same thing with a bear and, I don't know, probably a couple other things. Elk. Hi. Come here. Come here. Don't you run from me. So as you can see there, when he went around those trees, it automatically stops doing it. That is because, um... Uh, it's line of sight, so you have to have line of sight on them all at all times. There we go. We're gonna name you um, Ted. There we go. You should already be on follow. Are you not on follow? I don't think you are. I saw you looking at him. So, follow, defensive, come on. Okay, so this was Power of Light 2. And if we have a bear next, we know that those two bears are over there. So, you coming? I don't think they have to follow you back to here. You just have to have it completed as a retaining one. So, mm. him. Now we need to defeat two boars, dire wolves, and bears. One bear. Okay, so this is the Cavernous Combat number two. So, we need to figure out which cave this one is for. Looks like it's off in that direction. So, we don't want him anymore because you're low level and I don't want to feed you to anyone if not needed. So, run and be free, Ted. Run, be free. So, where is this taking us to? past there. Okay, so basically we are going to go to the, um, the portal. Yeah, it'll probably be the quickest way. We're going to go back to the spawn area, and then we'll just teleport to here, and then we'll just go straight over there. So, um, where is the spawn area? This way, that way, over here somewhere. Not that way. That way. All right. In fact, we are going to call it with this one, though. We will start up again once we're at that cave on the next video. Um, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, just because it is going to take quite a while to get over there. I don't know how long this video has been, and of course, I don't want to go over my time because I'm really bad with that when it comes to making videos on the PlayStation. 
But thanks for joining me today, guys. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. We're pretty close, like I said, to that cavernous uh, combat three. Um, more than likely what's going to happen is after we do this cavernous combat two, it's going to take us and have us do a whole bunch of other quests in between there again. And then eventually we'll get to that cavernous combat three um, quest that, uh, that I was aiming for. So I will, honestly, I will probably post the Cavernous Combat 3 one once it's posted. The rest of these are going to be posted daily. So it is going to seem a bit out of sync, but I will explain that on the Cavernous Combat 3. Just because someone is specifically asking for that quest. But I still wanted to make the rest of these, um, the rest of these videos as far as, you know, doing the quests in general to help other people. Um, just in case anyone's looking for specific quests and stuff like that, so I can just name them. Hey, this one covers this quest, this quest, this quest. And then, you know, like I said, we'll make sure that we get up to the Cavernous Combat 3. But I want to have that one posted as one of the first ones. That way, um, it's helping the original reason that I even got back into this game as far as, um, posting the, uh, what's it called? posting that video specifically oh god that's good all right but yeah make sure you guys are hitting that like button make sure you guys are um uh hitting the subscribe button if you're not subscribed definitely appreciate that and if you guys want to know how often i'm posting make sure you hit the notification bell icon it will tell you guys every time i'm posting a new video but thanks for joining me today and i will see you guys in the next video